Oil and gas is an industry where old practices are used for a long period of time, and new technologies can be difficult to be introduced. However, satellite imagery is one of those technologies being introduced into the oil and gas industry and changing how operations are being done on a day-to-day -day basis. What we see is critical infrastructure, like well pads or pipelines, can be monitored using Earth observation data in a much more scalable and repeatable way than using other items like drones or helicopters. Where satellite imagery really is useful is by using a wide range of resolutions to ultimately solve a business problem. As an example, you could use low resolution data to see some macro changes on a pipeline. You might see those changes, be perhaps worried about something occurring, maybe vegetation encroachment, and task a high resolution satellite to go capture imagery over that pipeline. That then allows you to see in depth what is actually going on, and if you need to stage an intervention with one of your pipeline operators. These types of use cases are plentiful within the oil and gas community, and we'd love to learn about your oil and gas use case. Oil and gas as an industry can be slow to adopt technology sometimes. One of the more recent technological advances in the oil and gas industry is using satellite imagery. This satellite imagery is impactful on both the business's bottom line, but also on the human component, ensuring that humans who are going off into sites are not putting themselves at risk. One of the best examples of satellite imagery in oil and gas is actually pipeline monitoring. People in the industry call this third-party interference, when a third party may be interfering with a pipeline over a stretch of land. Pipeline operators want to know what's going on, and they can use satellite imagery across a range of resolutions to accomplish this. They can use low-resolution data to look at the entire pipeline, see any macro changes, and then task high-resolution satellite data to see exactly what's going on and send out a human if need be. Oil and gas operators have a lot of challenges on their day-to-day -day workflows. One of the areas that satellite imagery can be utilized is to not use human resources for every application. Oftentimes, what'll happen today in oil and gas operations is humans are sent to site, say to a well pad to do a visual inspection. What that will entail is perhaps them taking a company truck on a poorly maintained or maybe snowy road out to a rural site in say, Western Canada. There is both a cost from a business perspective on sending a human out there, but also a safety cost where there could be issues in the actual operator getting out there to see if there's a well pad issue. Both the human and the safety costs are where satellite imagery really shines. 